been listening to this song the last couple of nights, refreshing refreshing my memory. God, I love the way the song begins. That nice sprinkling piano. And then the beat comes in to play. A, sort of a shuffling beat. A slow mid-tempo record. John Legend. PDA, We Don't Care Anymore at number 32. Down from 29 on my fancy playlist, uh, July 15, 2007. I had forgotten about this record. I'm serious. <laughs> I had to listen to it again to jar some memories several times on YouTube. Now, man, he's done some nice R&B record. It's kind of a lounge R&B record, but it's so full. It's got a nice beat to it. His first record. I remember John Legend's first record. Really got into it. Not into slow records, but, you know, you got that soul, man. You got that soul, you know. Ordinary People. Remember Ordinary People. Back in the spring of 2005. Boy, I put that one up in the top ten of my fancy playlist. Same room in 2006. Those silky vocals, those soulful vocals of John Legend riding on top of the melody that's based on the classics force, classic force. I believe it's Stormy. I believe it was Stormy, which came out back in 1969. Same room, though, back in 2006. Green Light. Remember Green Light? He did with, it was, it's Andre 300, Andre 3000, formerly of Outkast. That R&B, the hip-hop record, all of me is, well, that was back in 2008, that Green Light record. Remember driving to work one night listening to that song. Made me feel good, Green Light. Just a feel-good R&B, hip-hop record. Best known, though, in recent years for all of me, there was a slow version of that, and there was a dance version of that. John Legend, PDA, two big producers. Oh, my goodness. We're talking mega talent going into this record. Eric Hudson, one of the producers of this record. He's won three Grammys. He's worked with Chris Brown, Whitney Houston, Neo. He co-wrote and co-produced Kanye West, Flashing Lights. Remember that? That was back in 2008, 2009. And there was Jack Splash. Jack Splash, he's... He's won three Grammys, nominated, I believe, for ten Grammys as well. He's produced a couple of songs that he's co-produced, or either produced or co-produced, Teenage Love Affair by Alicia Keys and uh, Fool for You by CeeLo Green. Back in 2011, that one, by CeeLo Green. But one of his big success stories, Jack Splash was nominated for a Grammy. This Grammy for Best R&B Album. And it was uh, Fearless by Jasmine Sullivan. Remember that? She had that killer record, Bust Your Windows. That was off that album back in 2008, 2009. And Need You Bad, another hit, hit off that album, produced by Jack Splash. He co-produced this album. He did drum programming on this album, Jack Splash. Although the, there were some live drums on this album on this record, supplied by Eric Harbin, Eric Harbin, formerly of the Eric Harbin Trio, a jazz outfit. So there you go. Big, big. And not only that, these guys played on the album. Not only produced it, but they played on it. Of course, I uh, mentioned that Jack Splash did drum programming, but Eric Hudson played bass, and he played piano on this record. Kind of interesting because, you know, John Legend's a fabulous piano player. He learned how to play piano when he was four years old. John, oh my goodness, John Legend. Some people just live a charmed life. Just good fortune, smiling down on them. Big white smile. When John Legend graduated from high school, he was getting scholarship offers from Georgetown, Harvard, God's real bright. But he went to the University of Pennsylvania. He majored in English and in African American literature and did all this music on the side. It's really cool when you have a degree like that because your music career only lasts so long. Of course, you can make a lot of money off of it, but it's nice to have something to fall back on when, you know, when you lose popularity in the music world or when the bottom drops out. But I don't think that happened to John Legend, though. Not him. No, no way. No way, Jose. Man, beautiful record. Hope you remember it. PDA, we don't care. John Legend at number 32 on my fancy playlist, July 15, 2007. Dubbed this one a lost MP3.